Holy smokes, it ain't no jokes. XRP just broke out of its resistance level. What happened here? Why is XRP suddenly moving? It's the XRP movement that everybody wished that would finally come. Uh, beautiful smile. Smash that like button. My lights burned out, so I look kind of weird. I'm sorry about that in advance. Uh, so currently, XRP is at 0 0.73 uh, up around 20% in the last 24 hours. What happened here with XRP? Uh, we'll get to that in just a second, but I want to introduce you to our partner Margex that gives you the opportunity to trade XRP on leverage. Now, disclaimer, leverage is very, very risky. You can lose all your money uh, if you are not experienced in leverage trading. Um, if you are new, I would stay away from it. But if you are an experienced trader, Margex gives you the opportunity to use leverage up to 50x on XRP. Uh, check it out in the description down below see if it interests you if not it's okay you'll get some bonuses once you use my links and a 20 percent kicker link is in the description down below so what is going on here with xrp is there any reason sec something that was going on i'll tell you from what i have gathered here i do not see any breaking news for xrp right so that's why i'm like what the beep is going on with xrp because usually sometimes if you're outside the bull market, you'll have situations where, yes, there's good news and then XRP will start going up, right? We had that uh, previously a few months ago when XRP went on this uh, few weeks movement here, right? Uh, and uh, went up here uh, about, in a, in a few weeks, it went up 50%, right? Now you can see XRP was, was moving here, uh, hugging this trend line, right? Uh, and it seems that suddenly volume started coming in after there wasn't a lot of volume. Although it did move up here, uh, you know, when the market was pumping around 17% in the last eight days. But if you, you know, reference that to meme coins and things like that, it wasn't going up that much, right? But today we are seeing a 21% movement. We saw XRP. Uh, get through the resistance level uh, with great force, okay? And after that that resistance level was broken with all this volume, you see no volume, no volume, no volume, suddenly, boom, volume. What could have happened here is that we had some liquidations, right? And we can take a look at that in just a second. So we can see here that XRP on the last uh, four hours, right, has had almost 5 million on the short, but also 2.64 million liquidated on the long. So people are... <laughs> are getting uh, liquidated both ways as you can see it's leverage trading is very very um, risky it could be from these liquidations but it also could be some stop losses that were here at the 65 range uh, that got uh, caught right on short positions uh, and but you see here some people are also losing money on the long right if somebody was uh, 50x leverage here and the XRP right moved um four percent you're gonna get liquidated for sure um, so you have to be very very careful with that uh, but as we can see, right, if we're looking at the four hour chart here for, for XRP, um, you can see that that level that broke out here, you could see even if uh, I don't know why my, my resistance was at there and not a little bit higher, could be because of action that happened uh, around here. Um, and that's that's very interesting uh, for, for XRP. Um, but what I am concerned is, right, the, the action that we saw here, right? So this is just a concern for me. Uh, I am, am a believer in XRP, but I have caveats because of the recent action that we have seen from XRP. Although, uh, you know, the crypto market is a little bit different in the past two weeks, right? Bitcoin creating new all-time highs. Ethereum very, very close to all-time highs. XRP is far away. So if you think about it, XRP has more room to grow uh, to get back to the, its all-time highs. Uh, but, right, uh, the, what freaks me out a little bit is the reaction that we saw. Uh, after you know the the uh, SEC news uh, where XRP almost touched one dollar uh, and then uh, pulled back and you know went under fifty cents uh, and so that's something that concerns me a little bit that XRP doesn't have the maybe the momentum that other assets uh, have had uh, you know we have Solana that was moving up a lot AVAX that's up big today um, and so that's you know something that I put into consideration what I noticed though which was peculiar and interesting is exactly when um, XRP uh, started moving up here at it was 74.45 my time, right? Um, I noticed that other assets, uh, especially meme coins, were selling off exactly at that moment. Um, so you can see here, it's exactly the same time frame. So it could be uh, that some of the money that had uh, been profited 
uh, from these massive meme coins that were moving uh, in the past uh, week or so uh, decided to move over to XRP. So this could be an indication that we are on the precipice of an XRP movement, that there's no 100% uh, uh, you know, ordeal that we're going to get XRP to $1 soon. Um, I want to see a little bit more consistency. Uh, yes, 20% pop does not mean that you know we're going to the moon. Um, I'm staying a little bit more calm, cool, and collected on XRP just because of the, you could call it lack of price action that we saw in the previous market. I know that there was the SEC court case and everything around that, um, but I'm just going to be a little bit more cautious. Maybe the commenters in the comment section are going to get angry at me because of this. Uh, because I'm a little bit more cautious with XRP, uh, but it will be interesting to see where XRP goes tonight, tomorrow, uh, going into the rest of the week. Is it going to, you know, we've seen this, it do it this before, right? Uh, let me see if I can change the color. We've seen it do up and then down. So I'm, I'm going to wait and see here for XRP. If it actually does something, uh, you know, uh, similar to this, uh, what we had with XRP, uh, you know, uh, back uh, when this happened, right? When it went up and then sold off a little bit. Um, so I'm going to be watching that. And we do, we are in a situation where the greed in the market is not too terrible, right? It was an extreme greed and uh, now my computer is slow. Here we go. And it back down to 82. So we did see a 90-ish um, a few weeks ago, uh, a few days ago, or it was March uh, 5th. So that's what, six days ago. We saw a low here of uh, 75 and then 79. Now we're at 82. So it's not too terrible, uh, but it will be very interesting to see where potentially XRP will go with uh, Bitcoin going to all-time highs, uh, new all-time highs, and potentially uh, in the next coming weeks prior to the Bitcoin halving, it will be interesting to see if Bitcoin is able to start moving towards that 100,000 level. We're, we're not there yet, but you know, I'm already talking about it, thinking about it. Of course, we could see a pullback back to 60,000. I, I don't know exactly how it's going to happen here. You know, Bitcoin is pulled up a significant amount. It all depends on what uh, you know the, the buying the buyers want and what how how much uh, you know the differences between the buyers and the sellers and how much liquidation and how much money is coming through the market. It's going to be very dynamic and it will be interesting to continue to track. Uh, what's happening with the crypto market and what's happening uh, with XRP? Let me know in the comment section. You don't have to. I know some people don't like uh, to disclose their position. Uh, do you own XRP? Are you bullish on XRP? And do you think that XRP will get to $1 in the near future and potentially uh, back to its highs? Or is this another, you know, wasted bull market because for XRP because of the still ongoing cases uh, regarding Ripple and XRP and, and the SEC? Let me know in the comment section down below. Of course, not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.